Good. <laughs> Good morning. It is. We're just gonna deal with the phone strap. It is Wednesday, July twelfth, and today it's gonna be a super fun vlog. I'm going over uh, to Casey's, and then by her there's a place called Urban Air. Um, it's a little franchise place. It's like a trampoline park, um, but there's one that just opened by her. So we're gonna go do that, and then we're gonna get lunch, and then we're going to um, get pedicures, which will be super exciting. The birds. It's looking better, but it's still there. I haven't bruised like that in a while from um, blood work. It's almost been like a week now. <laughs> um, but that's, you know, it's just part of the fun. Um, but we're, it's going to be like a fun little day. But I will say for the urban air thing, I'll vlog the outside of it. And then I'll vlog afterwards. I probably won't get any clips inside because I imagine there's going to be a lot of kids. And I just like. Like, I don't mind at Disney because it's like I'm walking by. But, like, at a place like that where you're in, like, in a closed space, I'm like, mm, no, we're not, we're not, not going to do that. Um, kind of like when I do my teaching vlogs, I do it in the times when I don't have my students around me. Um, so, that's kind of the plan, which also, a couple weeks, I'll be back teaching. What is this? Summer feels like it flew by. So, we have, like, the rest of this week. We have all of next week. Then the week after that, I have three days of trainings um, that are optional, but they're paid for, which you know, we got to do. Um, and then the week after that, um, there's a couple days where I don't have anything. And then I think it's that Friday of that week, like August 4th. Yeah. Um, is when the official pre-plan week starts and then students come on the 10th. I believe that August 8th is, um, meet the teacher and curriculum night for kindergarten. Cause we typically do our curriculum night earlier. Still don't know who our team leader is. Um, more and more, I feel like Fingers crossed, maybe it'll be me. Um, because I know at least, so we've lost two. The one, one of the two who we've lost was supposed to be our new team leader. Um, well, technically from last year's team. So there was eight of us last year. One left teaching all together. She wants to figure out like what exactly she wants to do. I don't blame her. The state of teaching has changed a lot. Um, and this is coming from someone who did their internships in a pre-COVID world was in their senior internship when COVID shut down the schools, started during the height of the pandemic. Um, and then now we're, we're still in COVID time because like it still exists, but we're like out of the height of it. We've kind of just accepted it's part of uh, life now. Um, and so I've seen all the changes and it's, it's been interesting. Um, and then one is going to first grade. So that brought us down to six. Then one's going to school closer to her home because she was having a long drive on I-4 and she had to replace her car engine this year, which I don't blame her. Um, and then another one's also going, she's going to the school that, um, it's closer to home for her than our school, but she's also going to, this was a year that principals rotated. It usually just happens. The county calls them up and says, hey, next school, you're going to be at this school. Um, principals just get like moved wherever. And so she's going to the school that our principal from last school year is going to be teaching at this school year. Um, so we're now down to five, but I think, no, it would be down to four, um, of people who were last year, but I did see on our little school map, it looks like we do have at least one new one. I hope we get another one because kindergarten is one that we prefer to have low numbers rather than big numbers, um, just because they're little. So let's, here's to hoping that we get another one soon. Um, if not, then we'll have to go through that whole like 10 day wait period and then, to like verify attendance that you need more teachers it's it, that's a fun journey um so hopefully we'll at least get back up to six i feel like that's doable um i really haven't checked my school email much i check it check it like once every week and a half during the summer that way i don't come back to like 500 emails because there's just so many like little county updates that you get that you're like i didn't need to know those um so that's just we the are at urban air we're gonna go <laughs> I will say this locker system is very confusing. Okay, we're leaving Urban Air. Now, I will say, well, adults can do it. It definitely is more driven for <laughs> kids. Um, the go-karts, not adult friendly. Like the steering wheel is literally pushing up against our stomachs. And like you had to pull it all the way out if you are larger tested, the like strap thing and then tighten it, which is hard. Um, the they rope- They did say it was safe for adults. Like they say adults do it all the time. But it's not unsafe, it's just very small. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely catered to kids and teens. Um, she did the little flying thing, which was looks a lot longer than it is. 
um we did the warrior curse which uh, i will recommend as soon as you realize you're falling let go because i definitely got like a rope burn like here and here um so it stings and then we jam jumped on the trampolines and we're like okay we're good <laughs> Is that you? Is that my baby? Is my baby? No bite you. We don't need zippy zap. No zippy zap. <laughs> I forgot the vlog. It's almost midnight. Um, but it's July fourteenth. <laughs> Oops. I'll see you tomorrow. Apparently at Disney Springs that night, we just saw Little Mermaid. It was so good. We're now going to Deluxe Burger for dinner because um, they have the orange bird shake for the Florida's uh, the flavors of Florida thing, which is between July and August, so we're doing that. Okay, so we are currently outside Deluxe Burger. We did a mobile order, and then you pick up your little like tracker thingy. Um, and you place it on the table, which I will say, it gets packed. There's a lot of inside seating. And then we finally found a table outside. Thankfully it's not too bad right now because the sun's down and it rained, but now we're just sitting here waiting for a fit. Okay, with the Florida's of uh, Flavor event that was going on through, I think it's July 10th through August 1st, uh, we got the Orange Bird Shake. It is so cute, there's a little orange bird. So the Orange Bird Shake is a vanilla gelato milkshake blended with orange syrup, and then it has green sprinkles on top and our little orange bird chocolate this so we're gonna try it even though we're eating dessert first it's definitely very vanilla there's like only like a subtle taste of orange but it's really good okay the fries it's just like five guys fries really good they're really hot and fresh and then i got the plain bacon cheeseburger with lettuce on it no sauce just because i didn't know what was in the their like 1921 sauce i'm trying to see what it looked like it looks like ranch almost like a it looked like it was orangey so it's probably like ranch and ketchup <laughs> it's just stuck patty it's really good in the, the co-op but like the end store which i think has like the dress up and it's like all oh, redone in pink and cute okay. just went in the trend store and they've like redone it in there and if you look in the wall in some of the paintings there's like little characters or there's little like silhouettes of them it's really fun okay. just went into the pin trading store at disney springs i got a two regular ones but um but they have mystery hocus pocus ones and then these ones which i've been trying to get the avengers ones because i just want the captain america one I meant to ask you, but um, mm -hmm. would you carry things? The bag? Yeah. Probably. During Halloween time. Okay. We got a little mini plane. Mini plane. And then a rabbit. Both of those I will trade. Would you like a light? <laughs> well lit right now oh that's nice <laughs> see these ones are okay oh we did get an avengers one it's purple oh it's hawkeye <laughs> and then the star wars one which i'll trade the star wars one i'll keep the avengers one i, I just don't want to get my captain america one <laughs> <laughs> Okay, now we're opening the Hocus Hocus one. Which, a little fun way they have it open. All I want is Binks. That's all I want. <laughs> okay, we have the cauldron. Kind of 
kind of nothing, so it's going in the, the trading bin. Mm -hmm. Oh, we have, I forget her name, but she's a little sister. Eh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, second one. I can't tell if the sprinkle of rain was from the tree above us or starting again. Okay, we have the the zombie guy. Oh, and then we got uh, was it Sarah? Sarah. Yeah, just that sister. She's kind of cute. Thought I was the kitty. <laughs> no kitty. How much were we? Okay, I went to Michael's, but some of the stuff is from my classroom, so it's gonna stay in the trunk. So let me take what I'm bringing in. No, I will say some of this stuff is stuff that is for the classroom, but I'm gonna make it into like little signs, so it's, it's coming in. But this bin is for my classroom. It's giving midnight vibes. We have these little papers that said I had blank had a great first day, so that'll be perfect. We have these cute little about me things. Obviously, I teach kindergarten, so I'll have to do this with them and just kind of like walk them through it. But I think it'll be fun. Then they have this cute little like matching number math game, which I thought would be cute for the perfect of the year because it's like one through ten. Um, and then the other stuff is just from Target, but we're gonna it's Sunday, this. July sixteenth, and I've started painting these for my future classroom. I also need to totally find another one because there's only 12 and I will definitely have more than 12 students. 